Hey everybody, it's Rich again. Welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to do a small video on what I've been finding as I've been doing the demo work to my bathroom and my and, and specifically my shower stall. So I've been wanting to see how the the construction method of a 1990 build has held up over the lifespan of the shower and typically you know 30 years is probably a good long time for a shower to be installed without any issues. I've never noticed any issues or repair work that was done when we bought the home. Um, so for all intents and purposes this has you know remained untouched since it was built. Um, so let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. So the construction method for this shower um, as you'll see, they put R13 in the, uh, you know, to the outside wall of the house, but they didn't put any kind of uh, waterproofer or some kind of a barrier between the fiberglass. And what I've noticed is that you can kind of see, you know, maybe some mold starting to um, develop on here, but for the amount, for the long, the length of time that this shower's been. Um, in use. I don't necessarily think that that's a really bad amount of uh, of moisture that's developed back there because I don't see any issues with the studs. Uh, the construction method that they had is they they basically put this lathe up that's here. You can see kind of the remnants of, of this lathe that's here. Um, let me see if I can get a piece. Yeah, this this right here is is what they they basically stapled that up the wall, and then floated a a concrete wall basically because well it's probably mortar but um it wasn't all there wasn't a bunch of stone in it so they mortared a wall I want to say it was at least three quarters of an inch to an inch thick of a wall. Uh, really difficult to bring down. I mean, it took every bit of strength to, to get it down off the wall. Um, no waterproofer that I can tell from the floated wall, you know, between the tile and the, and the mortar. I think they just simply went straight over top of it. And uh, the lathe goes all the way down to the pan, and they actually have a pan, you know, the PVC liner um, that was wrapped over two pieces two pieces of two before and um, they look to be in fairly good shape I don't see any leaks of any kind that I can tell I do see a little bit of rust where they stapled the lathe I think they stapled through the lathe or through the PVC when they put the lathe on um, and that's really the only protrusion that I notice and really that's very minimal where that rust is developed over time you see a little bit of a kind of a stain there but where the nails were done over they did nails here and here but they pretty much didn't nail in here other than than, than stapling for the lathe um, you know they had a couple of nails going up there was a stud right here they had a couple of nails right here where they secured the uh, the liner and they went up about six inches I think once you <coughs> pull this um, pull this mortar bed up um, that would be about about six inches high so um, I, I don't notice any issues um, the floor the mortar bed itself there is no pre-slope so I know that there are some youtubers out there some tile folks that are um, big on the pre-slope, some are not big on pre-slope, um, and find it to be um, sufficient. This one doesn't appear to have any kind of pre-slope whatsoever. It's just flat to the to the subfloor, um, and it is hard to break up. I mean, it's not coming apart. It, I mean, it appears to be a little bit moist because the color is a little different. I would imagine it would be... Um, you know this same mortar color or the whiter mortar color that's on the side of the wall here um, if it was dry so it's definitely uh, wet uh, I would say it does have some moisture content in it but it is not deteriorating so 
I mean, the mortar is still in good shape. It's still pretty hard, so I'm having to beat it with a sledgehammer to try to break it loose. And um, it's taken everything I got to be able to bust it up. But I never, I haven't seen any penetrations with the PVC liner. Um, and, and the 2x4 uh, ledge here, the lip, I can't remember what you call it now. But um, it's in good shape still. And from what I understand is that a lot of times these see some leakage because people put nails in them or some si some sort of a, a piercing of the, the liner and it gets in here. So I haven't noticed that. Um, they did have quite a bit of mortar on top of this lathe when they, they basically added, I would say, another inch of mortar and then put the tile. Um, so... There was quite a bit. So let me pull this part up and uh, I'll show you what I got there. So, I'm not noticing any any kind of uh, any kind of water damage that's um, you know you know exposed. We never had issues with the shower to begin with, so I, I didn't expect to see a bunch of water uh, you know staining or anything like that. But I was concerned about you know mold behind the walls, and I'm not seeing that here. Obviously, they didn't have any insulation or anything like that here, but um, you know, these, uh, these, uh, pipe protectors that they have for the, for the pipe <clears throat> to protect it from any nails. I mean, it's got a little bit of surface rust on it, um, I guess over time, but it's not bad at all, to be honest with you. Not bad at all. I mean, very little bit of, uh, mold, you know, starting to creep up on this, insulation um, but uh, I'm not I'm not noticing I'm not noticing all that much at all to be honest with you um, so for 30 years no pre-slope just a PVC liner and a floated wall system over lathe and no waterproofing I think it's lasted a pretty good long time um, I'd like to do uh, a floor that's um, a zero entry type floor, so no no ledge or no lip on it. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a pan. I was thinking about doing some sort of a, um, you know, like a, uh, a laticrete membrane or some sort of, uh, you know, maybe a painted on type membrane. I'm not sure. I definitely do some sort of a waterproofer on it. Um, if I can't make the floor work to, to lower the floor enough to be able to do a, um, um, a zero no lip entry type of, of, uh, shower system. I'll definitely go back with a PVC liner. I don't have any problems with it. I, I, I think that it, it did really well. Um, whoever did this system back then, um, they just buried this thing full of mortar. So it's got plenty, it had plenty of mortar in it. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, so just wanted to be able to show you that just to see what, what a 30 year shower looks like, uh, with a PVC liner. Um, so if you're thinking, you know, whether you should do pre, pre slope or not pre slope, I mean, I know that there's rules around that. Um, but evidently, you know, it definitely water in water out there wasn't uh, a whole lot of issue you can see that it's a little bit wet um so it did it did absorb water over time but it's lasted 30 years 32 years so is that really a bad thing i don't know i don't think so i think it did pretty good so um you know will i do a pre-slope on what i do probably just to be safe uh to eliminate as much water as possible so that you have very little absorbed into the concrete. I think it, you know, 
will help some. Um, but, I mean, there's something to be said for, for the one, the systems that were done that were just flat. Uh, so I, I uh, you know, I see the reasoning behind doing a pre-slope. It makes sense in theory. Um, it should, it should uh, get, extract more of the water out of the system and into the drain, um, into the plumbing, probably a little bit faster. But you're always going to have water in that mortar bed all the time because it just it, it it's made to absorb the water. I mean the tile's not uh, waterproof. It it goes in between the grout. So hopefully this was helpful to you. You know if you're planning to do a remodel and uh, you're wondering how to do the shower and whether the PVC liner systems work um, done properly. I don't think they have any issues. So uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel um, and be checking out for any more updates as I do my bathroom remodel. All right, everybody. Thanks for uh, watching.